This year's prize in economic sciences is awarded to three persons, David Card, Joshua Angrist and Guido Imbens. Card gets the prize for his empirical analysis of labor markets, whereas Angrist and Imbens, they get the prize for their methodological contributions to the understanding of causal relationships. So what is this prize about? Well, this prize is about how you can estimate causal relationships even though you don't have access to experimental data. Researchers within social sciences cannot rely on experimental data. That is, it would be probably unethical, it would be costly to design large-scale experiments. So instead, we need to rely on observational data. So how can we estimate causal effects based on observational data? Well, this is a question that this year's laureates has thought quite a bit about. The general idea is that we can use something known as a natural experiment. Something that just occurred either by randomness or by some unexpected policy change. We can use this information to estimate causal relationships. In the case of David Card, he was interested in labor markets. So what are the effects of an increase in the minim minimum wage? As it turns out, there is not much of an effect, even though economists before him said that we can expect to have a, redu a reduction in employment. David Card analyzed many other questions using natural experiments. For example, what is the effect on a lo local labor market if there is a, a sudden immigration? What can we expect from, from uh, the learning of students when they get access to, say, more teachers? Questions like that is what gave David Card this year's Nobel Prize in Economics. So what did Angrist and Imbens do? Well, they said these methods, using natural experiments, that is a great source of knowledge. But we somehow we need to understand how we can estimate these effects of natural experiments, how they can be interpreted. So Angrist and Imbens, they proposed a method how we can estimate causal effects based on natural experiments and how the results can be interpreted. Together, these three researchers has fundamentally changed the way economists and other people in social sciences regards empirical data. This is to the benefit of mankind.